we are doing something we have never done before and honestly since i was pregnant and we were working on being pregnant i have dreamed of doing this we are surprising callie with a trip to disney world for an early birthday present i can't wait she's turning seven in october and she loves all things holiday and halloween just like her mama and she has asked us since she was little to surprise her with a trip and this is something that mark and i would lay in bed and talk about while i was very pregnant and we had named her and we knew she was going to be a girl so this has just been on our list of things to do as parents and i am so thrilled that we get to do it this year so that means that packing is a little bit different and much more of a challenge when you're trying to keep a secret normally she is very involved in the process she helps pick out her outfits we talk about what we're doing we make paper chain countdowns and this time it's all being done as a surprise so all of the day-to-day -day planning the outfits the pieces coming in in the mail that i've ordered has to be like hidden away, which makes this a bit harder. I'm filming all of the surprise pieces of this too. So if you are interested in seeing a vlog of how we surprise her, stay tuned both on Instagram. I have a little gift that we're giving to her in order to make her guess where we're going and I'm going to film the whole thing. So make sure you're subscribed here. We're going to have so much fun Disney content, including what I'm eating in the parks, etc all about Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party coming up soon. As I've shared in many a packing video, I consider myself to be an expert organizer. Humble brag. I truly love planning outfits for vacations. Like it brings me a deep sense of joy and fulfillment to plan and prepare outfits to go somewhere. And that could be like a special day here at home where we're going to do something like pumpkin day, or it could be a full fall aesthetic in Disney parks. Speaking of fall aesthetic, I'm gonna show you this shirt, which you've seen before if you've been here as an OG fan, as well as these ears. Remember when I had a subscription box back when we were the fairy tale family? We're finally getting to bring them to the park, but look at these earrings. Bobble bar. Mark thoughtfully ordered them for me in August, the day that Bobble Bar dropped them and gave them to me today. That's really sweet, right? But holy cow, they're gonna get so much use. They're gonna get so much use. Oh, and there's one more thing. Follow along on the Instagram stories if you wanna see the daily outfits, but they will also be vlogged. I bought this. I wanna put it on right now from a brand called Mouse, oh, that's very bright. Mouse on Main Street. It is an Apple Watch Disney fall theme. So I wear my Apple Watch band, like I wear my Apple Watch every day. I am that person, I still wear them to fancy occasions. Part of it, I have the one band, I don't know what this is called. Part of it is because I get a watch tan over the summer, <laughs> but look, Look at this, look at this. I'm gonna link them down below. This is not sponsored, they don't know who I am. I am just a regular customer, but holy cuteness. Let's just pretend. I'm gonna put it on on Wednesday, which is the first day of fall. I'm filming this the Sunday prior to us leaving, which honestly is the latest that I've ever packed for a Disney vacation, but I don't have anywhere to hide luggage. If you are interested in one of our most popular free downloads, it is a Disney outfit planning chart. It will be listed in the description box with the watch band and all of the other fun things that I'm going to mention later in this video too. Despite the fact that we have been to Disney countless times, for people who don't live in Florida. We live in Massachusetts. We do travel there several times a year. We've never done Mickey's Not So Scary. We've been in October for the 50th birthday celebration, for Mark's birthday, for Disney's birthday. It was a whole thing. I will link that video above, but it wasn't Mickey's Not So Scary, and I am pumped to be able to do this party. 
if you are going in a non like celebration year this party starts as early as august 5th and runs through october so chances are if you are in disney august through october you have the opportunity to go to this party which is wild one of the coolest things is that you get to dress up for Halloween and like trick or treat on Main Street with special treat shops. Normally, they do not, Disney does not allow adults to full cosplay because it confuses kids regarding like who is what princess or what character. But during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, you do get to dress up. Callie and I are going to be the Sanderson sisters because of her deep love and appreciation for Hocus Pocus. And Mark is going to be Billy Butcherson. Okay, let's break down the practical steps first and then I will show you the packing process. As you know, I always start with our plans. So it typically begins in the notes app of my phone, just jotting down where we're going to be and when, what reservations we have. And then when I start thinking outfits, I transfer that over to a spreadsheet, which you have seen a thousand times. I have a column for me, I have a column for Callie, and as I am shopping, gathering, I save things on Instagram that I love, as well as on TikTok, I then start filling in the pieces of that spreadsheet. So when it comes time to pack, AKA today, I am able to lay everything out without feeling anxious, like what's going in the suitcases. And I know I've mentioned this before too, but when possible, Callie and I do bound or match because it's fun for us, both of us, not just me. Then I use my bed, I lay out all of the outfits in a timeline fashion day by day, and I build in as many of the accessories as I know. Typically last for me, things are like shoes because I'm still wearing them, undies, socks, undergarments, and accessories, and I separately do my toiletries. I will either prepare those in advance or do them on another day because it becomes very overwhelming. I usually start with Callie's suitcase first, just like I did today, and then work up to my own. So I'm going to stop explaining and let you see the visuals as they unfold. Enjoy. Friends, we are in the weeds of packing and we are on a timeline because Callie will be home in like an hour and a half. The hardest part of this packing experience is that it has to be done in secret because she's a pretty perceptive kiddo. So if all of a sudden she noticed that we were packing, she would wonder where we're going. She would look at the clothing choices and I think she would figure it out. So we are doing this in the undercover bright sunshine of the morning, but we're doing it without her home. Let me show you what we're bringing. So this is a four day trip. And I know looking at this bed, you may be thinking that's simply too much. But remember that we have the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and those outfits are something I'm not willing to like sacrifice details over. So I'll show you all of the things. And the goal is to try, at least to try to pack this into carry-ons. More on that later. So we are gonna go day by day and our plans are less structured except for some of the park days and obviously the Halloween party event, which is a separate ticketed event that we did buy tickets in advance for. So we're gonna start with a day where we are doing a park hop, which it's been a long time since we've done that. We're starting in Magic Kingdom. We have lunch at Be Our Guest and then we are headed to Hollywood Studios. I think this might be one of my favorite outfits for Magic Kingdom that I've ever worn. We will see. I bought Callie and I these matching Happy Haunting Disney like Fab Five crops in an orange tie dye. I bought myself the extra large in the kids version and I bought her her size in the kids shirt. What you just saw was her size. They were $12 each and then on Amazon, I got Callie this tutu with little silver sparkles in it. So cute. And for me, I thought this was going to be a rust color. It is a straight up highlighter. And you know my trick. I buy the same tutu on Amazon. I will link it listed down below. I have another color that I'm bringing. If you can bring it packaged, do that because otherwise they're quite difficult to pack just because of how big they are and how much space they take up. So I'm leaving it this way. 
when we go to be our guest, I am bringing Callie's full on like bell accessories and all dress because we haven't been there in a long time. So it's her legitimate Disney princess bell dress. This is gonna be a beast, I think, to pack. But it's also gonna be like 100 degrees while we're there. So I don't think she's gonna wanna stay in this, which is why we're bringing the outfit change. We will likely change back into our tutus and tees for Hollywood Studios. Day two is also a fun one. It is the one. We are starting our morning. We're staying at the Polynesian. Stay tuned. There will be a room tour coming up. Make sure you are subscribed, of course. And we're going to do a pool morning. We have breakfast early morning at Ohana. And then we're going to the pool. It's a relaxing day. And then it's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We can get in at Four. If you've been here for a while, you'll know these dresses. Callie wore this not only on our last cruise. I love the print. This is from one of my favorite local stores on Cape Cod called Fox and Kit in Mashpee. Look at these little palm leaves with glasses. We also wore this on our flight to Aulani. And I am also wearing my trusty bathing suit cover up that I wear pretty much anytime we go somewhere tropical, but we wanted to match the Polynesian vibes. And then bathing suits and of course a cover up. Callie has a new bathing suit in fall colors and her aerial cover up, of course. And I'm going with a Polynesian cover up. I wore this a lot in Bermuda with one bathing suit and I did limit myself back down to one bathing suit. So it's probably no surprise that we are the Sanderson, or as Callie calls them, the Sanderin sisters for Halloween. Fits perfectly. I bought this amazing kids costume off of Taylor Joel on Instagram. Isn't this? It's like really nice velvet. She's going to be so sweaty, but I think it'll be okay because it's short and it has these like mesh kind of panels in the arm. She also requested that we color her hair. So we're gonna try this chalk comb. Mark also brought a, bought a red spray that I'm honestly terrified to use in lighter hair, but we'll see, we'll see. And I am bringing tall black boots for her. For me, by the way, she's Winifred, clearly, in case you are not a Hocus Pocus fan. She has assigned me Sarah. Oh my gosh, so cheeky. So I bought an extra large kids Sarah dress that does fit me. It's just a little bit short, which I think is in true Sarah Sanderson fashion. I bought the tights. We'll see. It may be too hot. I also bought the wig, a blonde long wig. So we're going to try. I know this is not a part of the costume, but I thought it was cute and I bought it for Callie's Coco themed birthday party. So I'm going to bring it again. We'll see how it goes. We are moving right along. The next day is an Epcot day. I'm very excited. As you know, it's food and wine festival. I will link that video above. There will definitely be a video coming on what we eat this day. I'm actually going to be wearing this t-shirt. If you remember years ago when I had a Disney subscription box service, I made matching versions of these mommy and kiddo. So I will be wearing this with a tutu, a trusty tutu that I have had for a long time. And I'll show you what Callie's gonna wear. I'm also taking with me for these days, I will likely be wearing for the majority of the time, my Stony Clover fanny. This is my tutu. This is why you keep them in the package if you can. And then Callie's outfit here, she has the same shirt except hers glows in the dark. And then this little orange corduroy skirt, which we actually bought for her for back to school shopping. I think this is absolutely precious. And then sadly we wake up and it's the last day. We do have breakfast at Cinderella's Royal Table in Magic Kingdom and then we go home. Let me show you what we're wearing. It's really fun. We can't go wrong with the classic Cinderella dress. We bought this one in Disneyland when we went last summer. And Callie, I think, has only worn it once. Bring her little Mickey Mouse side bag. And then for me, it will be the debut 
of my Stony Clover Princess Fanny, my favorite earrings ever that I think that I've purchased from Disney, and my fairy godmother dress from last year's Halloween. Now I can't wear the whole thing because it's too cosplay-ish for the parks, but this is just the dress part. It's not the cape with the like hood and the bow. Very excited. And then to travel home as kind of like an extra outfit, we probably won't stay in these because they're likely to be very warm. I have my white romper. I have this in white and blue. You've definitely seen it if you've been here for a while. And I have a white romper for Callie, a little eyelet one as well. This trusty guy is of course coming and I have my three bag charms on there. I am hoping that there might be a bobble bar Halloween version of him in one of the stores on Main Street in Magic Kingdom. But this will definitely be born likely on Epcot Day. My very optimistic and possibly naive goal is to get as much as I can in Callie's carry-on. So I'm using my favorite things to pack. You know them, packing cubes. I'm using the yellow ones for Callie this time. Um, I typically use the red ones because her carry-on is red. Let me show it to you. This is Cal's carry-on. I've mentioned it before, but all of her cousins were gifted the same one for Christmas one year. So I'm going to do my best to fit as much as I can in here. I started with all of her dresses. So this has her Belle, her Cinderella, her Sarah Sanderson, no, her Winifred Sanderson, her bonus dress, her palm tree lead, like all of the dresses that she's wearing and some of her accessories are also in here. The issue is how do I fit all of the packing cubes into the carry-on? Stay tuned. If these were the only things that I needed to fit in here, we would be golden, but there are no shoes, pajamas, undies, or socks in here just yet. Maybe I can layer the shoes on top and tuck the PJs in around the edges? I am very impressed with myself. <laughs> Okay, it is now my turn. So because I was able to fit so much in Callie's carry-on, I have high hopes for me, but I think I might need a checked bag for things like merchandise. If you want a haul, let me know in the comments below. I am sure I'll be purchasing things. This is a whole new event for us. I'm very excited. Let me show you my new luggage. Look how pretty this is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like kind of glittery. Okay, you know I love my away luggage, and I do. I love my away luggage. This is from a brand called Level 8, and I can't wait to test it on this trip and see how it holds up. One of my biggest complaints about my away luggage is how easily it like scuffs. And then after every trip, I do everything I can, like using a Mr. Clean eraser to try to like get the dings out. But this one has a different type of protective coating on it. So I'm excited to use it. There is a locking feature. I'm not showing you that very well at the top. And of course, this is not their only line. I will leave a link to level eight below, but this is my, my first experience with them. And I have packing cubes, which I am of course, thrilled about. Oh, let me read you some information. The Arabic numeral eight means infinity horizontally. Oh, that makes sense. Like, kind of like this. It kind of looks like a truck to me. The symbol represents the endless exploration of future, the unlimited possibility of life. These attributes have become the springboard for the birth of the level eight brand. I love that. Let's see, any features in here that I should mention to you besides the fact that it spins? It says that the wheels are low noise. That's interesting. And there's a lifetime warranty. How cool. Okay, let's open her up. Also, this color is very much my vibe. 
So something I immediately like about this is the compartmentalization and the organization. It's what I like about my away luggage too. Let me show you. So you have the big pouch on this side and then you have a second big pouch on this side, but also there are like separate compartments for things on the outside, which I really like. And I'm gonna show you what these are. They're so cute. I don't know if you'll understand the phrase durable zipper, but that's what that feels like. So I also received packing cubes and something I love is that these are Velcro backed, like to tell you what's inside. This one's makeup, this one's sunscreen, shoes, like little feet for the shoes, clothes, wires or gadgets, dirty. It's a little washing machine. That's so cute. And then there's also the big mama. And this one just says level eight on it. These fit like all brands when you buy the same thing, or at least I hope these fit perfectly into the carry on. I am hoping that they hold a lot. So we're going to get started packing with my new level eight products. They will be listed in the description of this video. I'm excited to try them. And of course I will keep you posted on Instagram. I will likely do a reel with this. I have a transition in mind that I'd like to try. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Something I'm going to need to keep in mind is that this will not look like this on the way home. This is a squish. It is literally maximizing every centimeter of space I have on the big pocket side because I have poofy things in it. This side, look at this. I used two packing cubes and then put the rest of my accessories in here. Now, I can't just bring this because I haven't packed myself any undergarments or shoes and I need somewhere for my stonies to go, obviously, but I am very impressed. This looks really small from the outside. It holds a lot. And I will need my carry-on because again, there are two tutus in here, one of which is packaged. So I am really impressed with this level eight. Well done. Welcome back. I hope that that was entertaining for you. I am shocked at what I was able to fit into carry-ons. Like I vastly underestimated the space in there. I'm very impressed. I do plan to bring my big away luggage. So you'll likely see a transition of that. I'm working on a real transition. I'm not always the best at transitions for Instagram, but I am gonna pack that big one because I wanna be able to bring things home. If there is a video that you wanna see while we're in the parks, please list it in the comments below. DM me, email me, message me. I am going to shoot all of the footage that I possibly can so that way I can make whatever video that you want when we come back home. I will also link our Disney planning playlist here for you so that way you can go through if you have future trips coming up. And spoiler, we have another trip in November, just Mark and I, very different vibes. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you are having a magical fall season. I love you. We'll see you next week. Bye.